Bonnie him up by throw because it's reset. I don't know if it's Luxian is already here. I don't know why I'm making a lot of songs. But today it should be Luxian, so I don't know. Am I gonna get debated? I think I'm gonna get debated. It's already past like 15 minutes after the reset. Today is Friday, October 19th of 2018. And it should be Luxian for uh, Luxian weekend. If it is a Luxian weekend, then I'm happy. If it's not, goddamn. Oh, yeah! Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I am your host, John Nerio, and today this is totally not my third time doing this recording because my other recording, like the screen froze, is because I was doing the rendering on the Ice Age video, but yeah, it's here, it's not here or there. But this time around, I will be showing you Luxian, the Luxian inventory and everything that he has in store. I cannot show you like my initial reaction eh, because, yeah, that footage got pretty much wrecked. But it wasn't like anything revolutionary. But yeah, I'm just gonna showcase everything that he has this time around. First and foremost, he has the little Bergy ally. This is the little Bergy ally, the one that is jumping around like a freak. Hey, stop jumping! Like this little burger ally. Uh, sorry about dogs. It's like my neighbor's dogs. They are so loud at this hour, like all the time. But yeah, the little Bergy ally gives, I believe, it is 10 mastery points. It costs 80 Dragon Coins, for, so for Mastery it just sucks. But this is one of those allies that has 20% physical damage. And this one has the same cooldown reduction as the Chronomancer Cubesley at 25%. So if you want to use a cooldown reduction ally, this is probably the best one there is. But for 80 Dragon Coins, no thank you. Secondly is the word uh, is Whirlwind. Uh, Voltergeist, or uh, pretty much Whirlwind Voltergeist. Uh, this is a mount. It has 50 Dragon Coins. Well, not 50 Dragon Coins. It is 80, I believe. 80 or... Yeah. 80 Dragon Coins. So, 80 Dragon Coins, 50 Mastery Points. It is this. This is... This was this and the Little Bergy Ally were both in the Daily Login Token. So, Daily Login Tokens... Since they do not exist anymore, so they are right now on Luxion's inventory. Next up is the Samantha Ally, Batty Badoid, and the Moon Howl Mask, and Freaky Frankie. I'm just going to show you because I have literally everything on my Dino Tamer. First and foremost, it is the Samantha Ally. Samantha Ally, it is this little cat ally. Um, I believe it's also 10 mastery points. 10 or 50, it is 80 Dragon Coins, I'm just gonna showcase it real quick, it should be right on event, so it is 50 mastery points, so it is like a mount, 3 jumps and 12 and 13 superstition, it doesn't do anything to superstition by the way, but 2.2% health for each enemy hit, so you can get a, no, seriously, you can get a... 2.2% each like each time you hit an enemy you can heal four times a second anyways moving on it is the batty battleoid or whatever it's called it is a manta ray mount that you can craft in the chaos crafter this is one of the legacy mounts it is 50 mastery points like any like any other normal mount so you can check the crafting recipe uh, right here and I'm just going to show you right here on screen here, this is the crafting recipe on the Batty Batoid or whatever it's called. Next up, I will show you the Freaky Frankie. It is the hairstyle that I'm wearing. It is, I believe, 10 mastery points as well. The Moon Howl Mask, you can get this, both this and the other one. And the mask, which is this mask right here. This mask is... I hate life. <laughs> Well, this mask is one mastery point, 10 dragon coins each, so yeah, 10 mastery, uh, mastery points, well, 10 dragon coins, 10 mastery points on the Freaky Frankie, Moonhound mask is one mastery point, 
You can get them both in super style stashes and, in, and also in autumn style stashes that will come out when the Shadow's Eve event comes out. Next up is Dispel Divinity. This time Luxion has three of them instead of one. I cannot show you uh, the three of them. Well, I, I can actually, but... Yeah, I'm just going to show you the three uh, Dispel Divinity and the four Golden Horde Dragon Soul right here on the screen. Not the 4 to 15. You can tell there's three Dispel Divinity, 15 Golden Horde Dragon Souls. Um, this is the same as every every time Lux and Visit, but this time three Dispel Divinity is really, really good. Especially for those who are still missing all of the costumes. Before going into the Aura section, because this time around is now the Aura, uh, but there's one thing that I need to mention. If you are starting the game and if you have 20 Dragon Coins at least, buy at least 5 of the Golden Horde Dragon Souls. You will get a ally that grants plus 20% to your physical damage, which is amazing. And honestly speaking, I would strongly recommend anyone to get at least 5 of the Golden Horde Dragon Souls so you can get a really strong ally. Anyways, that is all that I have to say. Take it away, past version of me with the aura. And yes, um, if you may or may have not noticed in the thumbnail, I have, um, I'm an idiot, that's not right there. It is right here. On the Dragon Ascension, I should be over 75. So right now I have the style, well, not the style, the aura, the glittering price aura. And not to mention all those stats, that's why my knight is almost 26,300 power rank. It is 1,000 tier maximum health, 0.5% critical hit, 5% critical damage, 250 damage, and 100 magic find. 100 magic find, it is the only... Well, there are two dragons that grants 100 magic find. This is one of them. The other one is the block dragon egg, which will give you also 100 magic find. And yeah, and right now I'm just going to showcase the aura. Thankfully, I did not remove the aura of any of my weapon style, but this is the aura. It's literally one of my favorite auras in the game. It it looks like you're ho holding it down like a stellar in your hand. You know that when the stellar drops, it pretty much gives that same glow that I have in my hand. But yeah, it is it is a really cool aura. I can see a lot of people using this aura, but here it is on the gun style. Gun style probably my favorite. I will keep the the gun style on the well the aura on the gun style because it literally looks like I'm wearing two stellars. Like literally, well, and technically I'm wearing two stellars, but yeah. This is the fist. Same goes like you're getting a aura. That looks like literally a stellar drop in your hand. Next up, I should have it on my Shadow Hunter. This is the bow. The bow is the only one that I think is kind of underwhelming because it's right down in the middle. It's not like the fire effect that is on every single end of the bow, but it is right down in the middle. And I don't know why I think of that one. Next up, it is the staff. So the staff is the same as the. As the melee, same with the spear, I'm just gonna show you in a bit. Looks pretty, pretty cool. I really do enjoy it. And next up is going to be on the spear. This is the spear. And the spear just looks rather nice. I really do enjoy it. I really do like this aura. This is one of my favorite auras in the game. And honestly speaking, it is amazing. People are going off. And yeah. But yeah, that is all that Luxin has in store this time around. Overall, in my opinion, it is kind of meh. I generally don't think that his inventory this time around is good. The only thing that is uh, is the Dispel Divinity, but it costs 25 Dragon Coins each. And uh, obviously the Golden Horde Dragon Souls. And pretty much the rest is like either Chaos Chest styles that you might will get them a lot and when the shadows if event comes out 
and the what is the next thing the uh, the daily token not only the ally but also the mount right here and yeah that is literally everything once again thank you for watching and leave a like if you want to see the channel grow subscribe if you want to see more content like this and that is all for today once again thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and keep on hunting and good luck on luxian see ya